They say that the ocean is big. I wouldn't know. For me, it's always ended at the horizon. Where the water meets the fog. I wish I could see what's beyond that line. Beyond our island and the plaza. Grandma says that this is our haven. That the lighthouse keeps us safe. But a part of me wants more. It's hard to imagine that this was a different world once. That you could open your door, step outside, and just walk wherever you wanted to go. But that was before the fog. Before the city sank. Before the dirty paws showed up and took everything away from us. We still have a spectacular sunrise, though. I guess the paws couldn't find a way to deprive us of that. Ladies, my bub. Things that need fixing, I presume. Yeah. A thing for Ursula over at the Sleepy Triplets. A leaking capacitor and some, some. They said you'd know. Humph! It's broken again? How does she manage? In my day, we knew how to care for our things. Oi, Sigrid. There's some crab in the basket, too. Hello, Mr. Bane. Don't you have somewhere to be, Bane? We have work to do. Hmm. Should be on my way. Fog's closing in. Uh, by the way, Doris, have you, uh, talked to anyone lately? I never talk to anyone now, do I? They say the dirty paws have been seen by the plaza. I haven't spotted them myself, but... Is this your idea of a joke? Wish it was. Just be careful, will you? I could look after myself before you were even born, Bane. Now scram! The air seems absolutely saturated with gloom. Ugh. We need more sparks if we plan to hold that fog back. I'm on it. Remember, no fiddling with your hands. Only use the net or... Or they will burn my hands just as they always did Grandpa's. It's not my first time, Granny. You can't live on old marriage, Shrimpy. I tell you that. Now what are you waiting for? <laughs>